A delegation from the Real Madrid Foundation, led by its Vice President Iker Casillas, met on the 20th of July with the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, His Beatitude Monsignor Pedro Egan. Met on the 20th of July with the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, His Beatitude Monsignor Pier Battista Pizzaballa. Together with the Patriarchate Schools, for nine years the Foundation has been promoting and educating again. Together with the Patriarchate Schools, for nine years the Foundation has been promoting the education and growth of children in the Holy Land through sport. On behalf of the Real Madrid Foundation, we are happy to be able to do our part and help, especially at this difficult time. We are very happy to be able to ensure that the children who live here have the opportunity to train and grow in a healthy way through sport. The project helps firstly to create job opportunities for coaches and secondly to involve children from low-income families in extracurricular sports activities. This initiative really puts a lot of joy in the hearts of the children who participate in it. More than a sports project, it is a project that embodies the values of giving and love. The Patriarch expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Real Madrid Foundation, which supports thousands of students in the Patriarchate schools. Monsignor Pizzaballa then stressed the importance of sport in teaching mutual respect. With sport, he added, we experience victory but also learn to accept defeat. Iker Casillas then sent a message to the young people and children of the Holy Land. They represent a great example, he said. These are very hard times and the young people have been an example to us all. I wish that they may continue to practice sport, in this case football, and that they can continue to grow up happy and meet people who will allow them to cultivate the practice of this wonderful sport. In addition to shooting the ball in goal and scoring, the Real Madrid Foundation achieves other important goals together with the children which it embraces in the Holy Land.